Let's talk about bank reconciliations. I bet you're really excited. Most business owners don't even know what they are. Most people don't know what they are. This is one of those life skills though that should be taught in high school. Everybody should know how to do a bank reconciliation. So let's talk about what it is, why it's important, especially for business owners, and when you need to do them. So a bank reconciliation really is comparing your bank account statement or all the transactions in your online banking, if you don't want me to look at a statement, to your checkbook register or your accounting software in the, in the business world. And making sure that you have recorded everything in your checkbook register that has actually happened in your bank account and that, and that you haven't recorded something that didn't happen or that you haven't recorded something twice because that's really what we want to catch and check for, right? So that's what a bank reconciliation is, comparing those, making sure that everything we should have is there and that we don't have anything that we shouldn't have because like, we are trying to get to the point where we can run our business off of our bank balance, but we also still have to have a record of what we've spent our money on so that we can get our taxes done at the end of the year. So that's kind of why it's also important. A good tax preparer will require you to have your bank account reconciled at least by December 31st because they want to make sure that you have not forgotten any deductions or overstated any deductions. Neither one of those would be good, right? We don't want you to forget any deductions. Um, that would mean that you're paying more taxes and we don't want you to overstate deductions on accident or intentionally. We don't want you to overstate income either because that would mean that you're paying more taxes, but overstating deductions would mean you're subjecting yourself to an audit and then like you might owe more taxes later and then you have penalties and interest. So good tax preparers will make sure that your bank account statements are reconciled before they prepare your taxes. If you're self-preparing, you should also make sure that you've reconciled your bank accounts before you file your taxes and use that data for your taxes for the same reasons. We just want to make sure everything's there and things that aren't there shouldn't be there. So that's when you should do it. Most of the time your software will do that for you um, and that's why you should do it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, like I said, we just want to make sure that you're getting all the benefits tax-wise that you can. It's not really important for running profit first in your business, but it is really important um, that you get that done, like I said, by the end of the year. And um, if you need help getting that done, if you don't want to do it, like I don't do my own, right? I have somebody on my team do mine. So if you want some help doing that, um, you can drop us a comment and, or a DM and we will get you a link to get with one of our bookkeepers and figure out how we could help you reconcile your bank accounts before the end of the year. Um, it is easier on, if you do it on a monthly basis. <laughs> and I would recommend doing it on a monthly basis because that means your um, financial statements when you look at them are also accurate. So like I said, I know bank accounts, bank reconciliations aren't sexy, they're not fun, um, but but as bookkeepers and accountants, we actually really like to do them. It's satisfying to see that everything is the way it's supposed to be and it all works out to zero. And so if you don't want to do this, this is something that we are definitely here to help with. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we will be back next week with some probably, hopefully, more fun and um, business growing ideas for you. Take care, everybody.